this. <laughs> Wayne, don't do it. You'll burst them. That's the idea, shrimp boy. Wait. Ugh. Simple thoughts from simple minds. Oh, not my fault. He wanted to play. He signed a form. Hmm. An old-fashioned laundry mangle. I saw one just like this at the National Housework Museum. Sometimes I wonder if in our zeal to embrace the latest advances in cleaning technology, we've forgotten that when you need to get really tough stains out, sometimes the answer is old-fashioned brute force. Oh, will you look at this? A genuine piece of cleansing memorabilia, just like the ones our forefathers used. Let's give it a go. I'll fetch some soda flakes. It's just a harmless phase. I'm sure it'll pass shortly. Yeah! Get along, little doggy. I can't believe this, Tony. That mangle's causing big trouble around here. They've gone nostalgic crazy. Come on, take a ride on my new electric powered pony and cart. Say cheese. <gasps> Isn't this old-fashioned camera so perfect? We ordered it from the latest issue of Old Time Life, the official magazine of the nostalgia community. Whoa, Nelly! Whoa. I don't know how much longer I can endure this. What can I do? Well, maybe there is something. Tony, please thank your parents again. It's so generous of them to let us use their holiday cabin. We'll be just like pioneers, blazing a trail out in the bush. The cabin's at the back of the lot. Keep to the track. You can't miss it. I don't want to go into the stinky swamp. Oh, come on, Wayne. This will give you boys a chance to share and bond. <laughs> One day you'll thank us for the happy memories. Who needs memories? I got TV. This better work, Tony. <sighs> I can almost smell my ancestors. Of course, in those days, fathers got a heap more respect. Say, how about having the kids call me sir? Do you think they had this many bugs back then? Better stick to the path, Wayne, for there are swamp pearls everywhere. You wouldn't want to end up a statistic, Wayne. <laughs> Better stick to the path, girl pants! Oh, the sick irony! We made it! How clean! It's like one of those horror movie places where everyone gets attacked by brain-eating, blood-sucking zombies! Oh, this is great! The simple life. I could see us spending the rest of our days here. P.U., what is that smell? I believe it's the natural fragrance of clean air. Well, whatever it is, it's got to go. Ah, pine fresh goodness. Hey, it's time for pro wrestling. <laughs> There's no fight TV in the outback, Wayne. Better get used to it. Then let's do our own wrestling, Slippy Hog style. And I got the porker grease. Ah! <laughs> no, no, who's Wayne! up for some good old-fashioned fried eggs? <laughs> All this place needs is a mop and back makeover. There's no electricity. Ah, oh, welcome to the good old days. Come on, boys. We need to find a nice big tree to chop down for firewood. Why don't we conserve poor Mother Nature's bounty and chop up some of these old logs? Well, that's not how the heroic pioneers did it, right, Wayne? Well, 
Yeah. Yeah, what, Wayne? Mm, oh, yeah, sir. Yeah, that's better. Creep. If you paid attention in school, you might have realized that certain berries are not fit for human consumption, and the ones you just ate are particularly toxic. <laughs> I'm certain you'll be hearing from your digestive system quite soon now. <laughs> Most heroic indeed. The enemy is everywhere. Turbin bugs are sneaky, ready to strike without warning. We've brought wood for the fireplace. And food for our bellies. All you're bringing in is more dirt and disease-bearing germ-ridden insects. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, before future archaeologists find our frozen remains, might I suggest these matches? And I'm sure this copy of Old Time Life will burn beautifully. Matches? <laughs> well, that would be cheating. I'll have this fire going in no time. The old-fashioned way. <sighs> okay, just this one time. There's something wrong with these twigs. They must be defective. Maybe you should write a letter of complaint to the tree. Sir? Nothing like catching your own dinner. Somehow it just tastes better. Are you sure that deadly hunting weapon is going to be able to tame the creatures of the wild? The Australian Aborigines use the boomerang to bring down their prey. I saw it on the Nature Channel. But they're natural hunters, Dad. Savagery is basic to their survival. It's not a fashion fad. It's just throwing a stick, Lucian. <laughs> Shh. I've got dinner in my sights. <laughs> ah. Well, at least it can't get any worse. Hey, you know I can't swim. I need backup. There's just too many of them. Will you stop complaining, Wayne? It's interrupting the beautiful sounds of the raindrops. It's just like Christmas. A bright, white, clean Christmas. Oh, where's the bathroom in this place? Ah, uh, good morning, parental pioneers. We were thinking that uh, you boys just don't seem to be having a very good time out here. So just say the word and we'll go right back home to our clean, insect-free home. I must admit, at first I wasn't sure about this whole pioneer thing, but clean air, lots of subjects for study, and other French benefits. <laughs> Oh, no! Indeed, I could see us spending the rest of our lives out here. <laughs> Unless, of course, you want to go home. Ouch! Oh, 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 Looks oh, like a complete success. Let's just say it'll be a long time before anyone in this house gets homesick for the good old days. <laughs> and a very long time before Wayne is able to keep down any solid food. <laughs> right, Hurl Pants? <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> nice girl curl, loser. <laughs> Uh-oh. Somebody forgot to comb his hair this morning. But I combed it five times. I do see fresh tracks. Hmm. Perhaps your hair is too long. Wayne's hair can't be far behind. No! No haircut for me! I want to look like this! Whoa! The Bone Meister! Wrestler numero uno! He's top! But he looks so messy! Has he no mother? Boys should look clean cut and tidy. That's what haircuts are for. Thank you. You're very welcome, little lady. Come back soon. Good afternoon, ma'am. My, my, what handsome boys. Where's Giuseppe? I'm afraid Giuseppe has retired, ma'am, but I assure you, nothing has changed. The magazines certainly haven't. Giuseppe kept things so neat, so clean. And his baldness had a wonderful sanitary sheen. Indeed. He was an excellent barber, but please, let me... Goodness gracious! What? Your fingernail! It's... No, no, I just washed. This won't do at all. <gasps> a dandruff flake! Hmm? A hair! These are clear health code violations. Come, children, we're leaving. Good day, sir. Yes! But... but... Oh. Hello? You would not believe what I just saw at the barber shop. I go walking with my boys to get a haircut and his nails were filthy dirty. Dirty, I tell you. And then I turn around and I see little hair pieces on the floor and little pieces of flakes and it was horrible. <gasps> I go walking with my boys to get a haircut and his nails were filthy dirty. Dirty. Aprons, rusty scissors, lice infested combs, food dryer, spilling fungus. Come away, Danny. Mrs. Cramp told Mummy that place is dirty. <sighs> Don't you try this? <laughs> ah! See? Now that's a wrestling style. Wanna wrestle? Ah! <laughs> oh my! You both look so sloppy. And sloppy is just a teeny tiny step from filthy. But the nearest clean barber is in Blanford. What a shame. That's too far. Too bad for us. Indeed. That's why I've decided to cut your hair myself. Uh-oh. Oh. Hey, Mom! Almost ready, dear. Please remove your shoes before stepping on the drop cloth, and we'll... <gasps> foaming peck! I cut it myself! See how short it is? Just like you wanted. You look like a madman! Really? Great! The Madman's my third favorite wrestler! Wayne Cramp! I will have no wrestling or wrestler look-alikes in my home. Now sit! I don't need a haircut, Mom. My Junior Explorer's helmet flattens everything perfectly. <laughs> that hat is for exploring only, not keeping your hair tidy. Don't anybody move. Mrs. Cramp? Yes? 
<laughs> Please, Mrs. Cramp, help me. My business is failing. I'm sorry I offended you. I'm a good barber. I am. I'll shave my head. I'll do anything. <laughs> there, there, Mr. Barber, who isn't Giuseppe. It can't be as bad as all that. You just need to clean up your shop, that's all. Yes, yes. I want to be clean, Mrs. Cramp. Help me be clean so that people will let me cut hair again. Children, we're going to the barber shop. This floor polish melts hair and dandruff particles you can't even see. Next, we'll clean implements. You may not be Giuseppe, but you're in safe hands now. I mixed up this little barbicide myself. Hey, that's a cool hairdo. He looks like Dr. Man Monkey. That's a Mohawk Indian, you narwhal. Yeah? Well, your hair would look good like that, wouldn't it? This won't hurt a bit. It'll feel a bit fuzzy, that's all. My hair will grow back, but your punishment for cutting it with a dangerous and unclean appliance may well last a lifetime. Well, let's see how you like this. Oh! You can leave the rest soaking for later. No germs going to survive that. <laughs> And cramp! Get back on that chair this minute! Go sit on the wheel, Wayne. Yes, of course! I'm a good boy! What's it gonna be, Mrs. Cramp? I want two handsome, clean cut little boys. <laughs> little man. Do you want a lollipop, too? Thank you, Mr. Harry. Thank you, Harry. Put out the good word for me now, won't you please? <laughs> nice haircuts, boys, but ugh, you both smell like saddle sores. Must be that new barber. Harry, maybe he put some cologne on it. Ah! <laughs> cool. And there's bugs and, and, and germ infested things on these little green growths everywhere. It's unbelievable. It's hair. It's on the floor. I know. Oh, he's falling like apart. <laughs> Shop's turning into a bakery. That poor man. If only he paid more attention at barber school. Everyone knows a quality rinsing regime is vital to hair safety. Holy suds! <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? This is fun. until we reach that emergency barber in Blanford. But, Mom, we look cool. No, we don't. Wanna wrestle? Whoa! Ow! 